What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the Park Pompeii. We can see some like the baskets over there. And that's the nearest disc of course I have around my town. We have six baskets but 12 uh, tee positions so we're gonna have 12 holes. I never played a perfect run before and today is the day. So we're gonna do it in a mulligan type of challenge. So each mulligan I take one disc from my signature series will be given away um, among the YouTube subscribers. So you better subscribe and let's get going. So hole number one, uh, I don't have the exact meters by heart, but it's around 60 to 70 meters. We got OB on the left side, the fence and the concrete wall on the right, and these mark the OB. And uh, yeah, pretty much a straightforward sidearm hole for me. And just gonna get my justice and hopefully start around with the birdie. Lucid Justice uh, Tristan Tanner 2019 Tour Stem. Yeah. <sighs> Little slip on the tee. Ooh. The snow just uh, rained down. Uh, the snow just came like today. It's more beautiful, but it's, the tees are a bit more slippery, so a little bit of challenge to the mix. Hole number two. Uh, the basket on a, on a steep slope is like 75, let's say around meters. We got the fence on the left, also B on the right. And uh, basket, as I said, is on a tricky slope. You can't like spike it there. It will most likely roll, but that's my game plan to spike it there and hopefully give it a race run and get it in. So let's check it out. We got a little bit of a headwind here, so I'm gonna use my gold burst uh, black ink stamp uh, pioneer. Oh, that can go in, go in, go in, go in. That's it. Oh, perfect. Parked. Pop, pop, pop. Gonna use the stairs to get it safely to the disc. Aja! Two for two. Oba. Okay, this is going to be a chance to get this one from here. Perfect. Ale! Hole number three. Also, the fence on the left is so B. Also, the fence on the right, but it doesn't much come into the play. But you can see there's uh, some basketball hoops uh, to the left of the basket and the basket basketball court is OB, it's like 7 meters to the basket. And uh, we got some headwind, trusty harps, gonna do the job. Just has to keep it a little more wider than I think. Okay, that can be long or that can be perfect. I guess it's perfect. Be happy. So this is the basketball court I was talking about. But problem. No problem in France. Hole number four coming up. Hole number four. Uh, you can see the basket is uh, down there in the trees. It's the longest of those holes over here. It's like 100 something, but it goes quite high, quite, uh, quite a lot uphill. Uh, the OB over here is the fenced area to the right. So if you flip your disc over, you can find it pretty easily. But yeah, there are like some gaps to the basket and uh, I'm gonna up for the right side gap because it's the biggest one and I can count on my disc to skip to the left from there. I'm gonna use the uh, ribe. <sighs> oh shit. Come on, get left. Okay, uh, we have some sort of fat from there. <sighs> Not the easiest lie, but hopefully we can manage this. Oh, okay. <sighs> Come on! 
Oh. Big stone pillow for my heart. Perfect through four. And hole number five, we got uh, OB on the left side. You can see the stones kind of mark that area. And on the right side, we got some trees where you don't want to be. So you can take like a straight sidearm or backhand, but for me, I had this wide uh, sidearm hyzer over everything. And uh, let's take a sip of water and enjoy the view we got here. So again, with the Rive. Oh, the ground has gotten a bit slippier. Okay, have to stamp the feet to the ground for sure. Oh, that's perfect. If it just fades before that tree. Okay. Well, we have a tester. As we're walking to hole number nine, I gotta give, gotta give some credit to the course designers that even though they don't have a lot of baskets, they use them uh, to the max and I like to see this solution. And uh, yeah, it's a really fun course to like. And I have to say that this uh, challenge is maybe a bit more uh, challenging like mentally for me. I can like feel a lot of nerves because you know, every shot is on the line and if you miss then one disc has to be given away. Not, not that I don't mind it, but still. Oh, got the lucky break. Usually that tree catches and it can end up being quite easily. Five for five. Hole number six, perhaps the trickiest of them all. The kind of like tilted tree on the left side that marks a mando, so we, ha we have to pass uh, right from it. And yeah, there's pretty much nothing else. Uh, the main gap we see, there's some branches that are like low hanging. So we have to find a specific line. And that's why I'm going to use a driver just to take this line a bit uh, like lower and going to have that skip in the end uh, towards the basket. Whew. Again, a pioneer. Whew. Okay, get through. Oh, perfect. Sit. Okay. Around the green. Okay, what this is like. Five, six. Ah. How? First mulligan. No focus. Jesus, man. Oh, come on, boy. That's how you do it. Oh my god. Oh, that's the difficulty of this challenge. You can get into your head very easily. Ah. Hole number seven now. So we're done with the front six, uh, coming to the back nine. Back six, sorry. But yeah, uh, just a tunnel shot, maybe, let's say something like 70 between 80. And yeah, just the main gap, but also you can take some backhand hyzers from the right side or some a bit uh, tighter lines with the forehand, but for me it's a straight shot with the new thrust. Okay, uh, I need some trees now, fast. Okay, that should be parked. Difficulty to get to the lie, but from here, no problem. Hole number eight coming up. Hole number eight, the trees, uh, trees. The stones on the right mark the OB. And yeah, there's nothing much else to it. Just gotta follow the road. And uh, my game plan is take uh, an overstable mid range like Justice 
throw it out flat or maybe like with a slight hyzer and skip it off the road to the left and uh, hopefully finish uh, under the basket. That's the theory, let's check how it works in real life. So as I said, I will take justice. The tee pad over here is a bit shorter, so I just gotta use my momentum differently and the, like time my steps a bit shorter, just get the touch for them and then use the last step as my main power source. Okay, keep it like the slide hyzer. Okay, go, go. Okay, that can be a bit short, but hopefully it works. Second mulligan, uh, a bit newer uh, thrust, a bit more stable and hopefully skip it off the road also. Okay, the first one gotta work. Whew, I don't want to make it easy on myself, do I? Oh shit. First, let's count it if it's outside or. Well, let's see. This is more or less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shit. Uh, okay. Let's get creative here. Ow! Okay, that's the, perhaps the best line. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh my god, that has to be the highlight part of 2021 already. Jesus. Wow. Whew. I'm getting pumped! Let's go. Hole number nine. The only OB on this hole is the same fence on the right again. And uh, there's pretty much like two gaps. One is a bit smaller to the left and a bit bigger uh, one in the middle. But for the middle one, there's some uh, branches hanging low. So I'm choosing the sidearm route, uh, hopefully hitting the left side gap and skipping to the basket. We also got some wind from the left so it should be working out good okay stay low stay low skip holy shit uh not the best skip some putting action more let's see oh yeah that's inside the circle for sure faith okay some tailwind okay Two mulligans taken. Shit. Hole number ten, I think. Um, yeah, the basket just down there straight. Uh, the fence on the left is OB and also the, you know, the basketball court. But uh, we got some wind from the right. So I'm gonna approach it with a backhand hyzer, kind of like spiking it in. I have my Nico for, uh, VIPX uh, Fortress, just trusting that over stability to spike to the ground. And yeah, hopefully I end up close to the basket. Oh, 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 that's slippery. <sighs> okay. Gotta stay up. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That can be long or that can be parked. Okay. A bit long. I'm only going just in case.
Let's see if they got us outside, outside circle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. Okay. Check the wind. Pushing from left, okay. Step it in. Mulligan saved me. Ah, three mulligans taken now. Whew. Hopefully I can survive the last two holes. First try for the mulligan actually. So, hole number 11. Again, that famous slope to the left with some, with some, ang with some angle. And also we got this plateau where, you know, the main fairway is running. Uh, that should be like main landing spot because there the disc most likely will stay and also the same fence on the right OB, fence on the left and I'm gonna take my Opto Pioneer just uh, trying to like give it a little ace run and also there's some uh, high grass to the left of the basket so if I'm a kind of like mistake is this that uh, if I miss there then the disc probably will stay and uh, if not then fingers crossed Oh boy, that's not an ace run. You have to stick now. Okay, we have a putt. We got some wind from the left. Okay, shouldn't be a factor. <sighs> Let's go. A good bounce back after those missed putts on the green. Thanks to what I had to take some mulligans. Okay, last hole and gotta keep it strong. So last hole, uh, hole number 12. It's like more or less 100 meters. Uh, I'm gonna choose the sidearm route. We got this fence on the right uh, OB and uh, also the wall behind the basket. And why sidearm is because uh, it's uh, pretty much the safest shot on uh, on this hole and I'm gonna take the drive and hopefully it will skip close to the basket with my sidearm. I've also seen taken some uh, hyzers over the athletics field but today we're trying to play a perfect round so no extra risks. <sighs> okay skip now. Oh that can be in the wall also. All right, let's go. Whew. A bit tester, but in the honor of French football and rugby. Golazo! Golazo! Minus 12. Thank you for tuning in for the video. I hope you liked it. Please let me know in comments what your best score ever that you have played in a course. And be sure to drop a like. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget it because we'll be give, giving away three of my sig signature series discs. And the contest will last two weeks since the video is uploaded. I will uh, put it down in the description also, but be sure that you're subscribed. See you soon. Pasuk out. <laughs> Oh,